for stopping by i hope that you are having a wonderful day so far today's video is the first clean and decorate with me for fall 2022 if you are in for some motivation and inspiration to decorate your space for the fall season then definitely keep on watching it's just a little heartbreak and heartbreak so i went ahead and took out everything i got from the bins in this color palette that i have if you saw my last haul video i mentioned that i'm going to do everything in a more muted neutral and more like of those earth tones and i took those pumpkins out of the bins and i put the rest of the bins back in storage so i laid out everything and this is what i'm going to be using to decorate my entire home so not only the entryway which we're going to start doing today but also the rest of my spaces so in my last haul uh, i mentioned those pillowcases that i purchased for making my own fabric pumpkins now this is one of them <laughs> look how cute he is so tiny and small now i did mention this in previous videos i do not re i do not remember which one um, if i can recall i will link it below but what i actually did was i made these stems on a piece of um wood so that i could um interchange them with the fabric pumpkins that i made last year i had green and the year before that i had burgundy so now i wanted to add some touches of blue in my fall decor and you guys this is so easy now this stem is like a bit too big for this tiny pumpkin but i still look uh, i still feel that they look very cute like this so that is such an easy way to create your own fabric pumpkins you guys and change out your color scheme so yeah anyway i'm going to be decorating with these i have a few more of these i made five of them and i to be honest i think i need more so i'm not too sure if i'm going to be making more uh, i have to see about it because i still have one pillow cover left but anyway for me this is such a great way to change out my color fabric pumpkins so i can keep using these stems and also they are so easy to store because the fabric pumpkins you can put them in one of those vacuum bags and they don't take up any space at all so that's a plus and a win-win situation if you ask me i'm going to start in my entryway i'm going to clean up and then we're going to start decorating in my past videos where i decorate my entryway you know that i mentioned on several occasions that i find it a challenge to decorate the space because as you can see it is quite tight it isn't a big space but one thing i have learned in the past few years that for this space definitely less is more so i'm going to go for a very minimalistic look and i have been loving that here in this space <laughs> i do remember that i used to pack up this space so full but this gives me so much joy now doing as less as possible now i'm not going to talk everything through but you guys remember from last year this pampas grass i cut this from the side of the road once uh, one time when i was shopping and they are holding up so well you guys so that's a definitely tip for you if you want to use pampas grass you can just go out and see where you can get it from uh, somewhere outdoors This might sound boring, but I definitely love decorating with pine cones in the fall season. They are my favorite piece of decor, you guys. And this wooden bowl is something I had for a long time. And I bring it out every fall season because I just love the natural organic look from it. And of course, again, I have to use pine cones in it. 
again it might be boring to you but this is definitely what i love and that's going to be it what i'm going to be doing with this space and for the final touch i am going to use this throw blanket on this bench this bench i want to change its look forever and i still am planning to do that but until i've done that i will cover it up like this and now moving on to this credenza you guys i love this gold look that i did for the summer and i kind of feel bad i had to take it down but i just want to see a completely different look now for the fall but anyway this gold was really one of my most favorite way of decorating this credenza in one of my previous hauls i shared with you a new lamp and that's the one i'm going to be using here but first i'm going to clean this up before i start styling it now you are going to notice that I didn't use any of those little blue pumpkins that I made. The reason for that is I only made five and I didn't have the time to make any more. And I actually need them to decorate with in my living room. I need them to tie in with the blue wall art that I had. So that was the main reason that I made them after all. A life I won't Sealed in this house of concrete and stone And I know, though I'm growing old Now I think that this lamp is definitely one of my favorite thrift finds ever i should say because i've been wanting a big lamp like this for such a long time i think it is a good statement piece and it is so heavy you guys and what i also love about it is that it it, it does clean so simple i just use a little bit of all-purpose cleaning and it every dirt comes off so easily i mentioned in my haul that it came with a lampshade and I still didn't meet up with my friends so I still do not have the lampshade I'm just going to try now a few lampshades to see which one I like best You might recall that I always change out my lampshades in the fall season. I'm always going with a more darker tone or more this grayish tone. And I had this lampshade that was kind of perfect mesh because the original lampshade of this lamp is also this uh, size. It's not a really big shade but i really felt like the light the lighter shade was looking really nice but i didn't want to have any light shades because the rest of my home won't have any light shades either and then i remember i had these i used to use these on my credenza here when i had two lamps but since i don't have two anymore i can use this uh, lamp shade now drop me a comment which of the three is your favorite week i found on facebook marketplace this bowl you guys i love bringing in wood tones uh, in the fall season because it's just like this natural organic look and i was looking for these and i thought that they were really pricey now right after i picked up the bowl i stumbled onto this decor store and they had a wide variety of these bowls you guys and they are all so pretty in all different shapes and you can clearly see the prices now you know me i am a thrifter i want my decor to be like one and two euros so everything above that is like way too expensive for me of course it's not but you know what i mean and i really love this one because it does resemble a leaf and that would be 
perfect for this fall season but anyway these were the prices that they were asking and i think it is quite affordable but i don't want to pay that and the lady was only asking three euros and i even talked her down to two so i went and picked this one up uh last week and i really love this for fall you guys look at how pretty it is and it's pretty big too so yeah i'm going to be putting this one here and then i'm going to be filling it up with some pine cones i'm just gonna see what i have in my stash i found this bag of vase fillers and you guys i had this for ages in my stash i picked it up for only 99 cents and i i think i got it two years ago and i'm not too sure what this is it is something organic at least i know that it is but anyway i picked it up two years ago and i also had it in red because i saw it then when i wanted to do my burgundy decor so i thought just do something different for a change i wanted to fill this bowl up with pine cones but i thought i would use this instead and of course you guys knowing me i have to have pine cones so i'm just adding a few of these smaller ones just to have my pine cones here in this bowl Another reason why I love those DIY stamps, you guys, you can just arrange them or adjust them more to your liking, as you can see me do here, and also with this creamy pumpkin. One of the things I noticed that a lot of YouTube creators like to start off their fall decorating by lighting a candle or starting off their fall scent. Now, I personally, I prefer doing it after I'm done because that way it gives me so much more satisfaction seeing everything all decorated and clean and then the smell, you guys. Now, I have to say I am a true sucker for the cinnamon scent. I really love it throughout the fall season my two most favorite scents are pumpkin spice and cinnamon you guys and the cinnamon i have it everywhere like in all my air fresheners but anyway i am starting off this cinnamon scent here for my entryway are only about three weeks away before fall actually kicks in and you guys i cannot say this enough but i absolutely love this season and it is already getting darker sooner in the evening so all the vibes are there you guys i am already seeing leaves falling and when i look at this space it brings me now so much joy i love how it turned out very simple and minimalistic but still with that cozy fall vibe Here's a fun fact, one of my favorite indoor activities to do during the fall season is binge watching series you guys i can do that all day and all night if i have the time but drop me a comment below let me know what your favorite indoor activity to do is during the fall and with that being said you guys that brings this video to a conclusion i hope you have enjoyed this video and that you could have pulled some idea to decorate your space for the fall season of course let me know when you're gonna start decorating for fall i know it is still summer and yes we here on youtube we have an entire different schedule but anyway drop me a comment below let me know when you're gonna start so for now i want to thank you so much for watching and i see you in my next one bye